How to deal with high neuroticism when approaching women. So I assume the guy is saying that he's very neurotic. He's got approach anxiety. He sees one of you lovely ladies out in public and goes, Oh my God, that's my future ex-wife. What do I say? And then he gets overwhelmed. And so guys that freak out like that really all boils down to is they just haven't practiced small talk. Because what's happening is his... Because we're going to act consistently with how we view ourselves to be. And it doesn't matter whether the view is accurate or not. And so if a guy sees his perceived dream woman or dream women, he sees both of you together, he's like, oh, my God, I would want to damn both. Mm-hmm. What do I do? Mm-hmm. And he starts freaking out. What happens is, is, oh, I'm not good enough or she's not going to like me or I'm too short or I'm not successful enough yet or she's going to think I'm a moron or I don't know what to say. What happens if she rejects me? How's, what are all the people around here going to think of me if I get rejected? And all these things start going off in his head, and he hasn't even approached you yet, and this battle's going on inside. What do I say? And the reality is is that you got to practice your social skills. And so one of the things I always recommend, especially for younger guys, is to go work in a restaurant, like wait tables, 10 bars. So you're forced to interact with all kinds of people, happy people, angry people, People that love their meal, people that are jerks, people that want to dine and dash, really cute girls who like you, really cute girls who hate you and think you're the ugliest thing they've ever seen. You get to deal with all types of human beings and practice like wherever you go. If you're in an elevator, start asking questions. Take a sincere, authentic interest in other people. If if she's got something on that is unusual, like I remember one time I was in in a mall and I saw this really attractive woman and she had these like cheetah boots. She looked great. She had a sophisticated looking outfit, but had these boots that kind of were like knee high and they were like a cheetah pattern. I'd never seen anything like it. And I, I, you know, so I had to ask her about her boots and where she got them and what it was all about. And she loved the fact that I came over and started talking about them because it was kind of like, you know, in the pickup industry is is known as like a peacock. And so I used her, the boots she was wearing as a conversation starter and started asking about them. And obviously, if she's wearing those, she probably really likes them and is proud of them. And so she started telling me all about them. And then that rolls into other topics about what she's doing, where she's at, where she grew up, where she's from. It's, you want to know is, does she live here? Is she on vacation? These are kind of important things to know because you get her phone number and then you call her a few days later and you find out she's back in California. It was just visiting. You got all excited and wound up and then she doesn't even live there. So the point being is that you have to get in the process of just striking up conversations with anybody, everybody, anytime, any place, anywhere, men, women, old people, families with their kids joking around. You have to be able to create small talk with anybody and everybody. And when you get used to it, it doesn't matter whether you're in an elevator or walking through the mall or at the beach or at the pool. And they see you two lovely ladies, and they go, oh, I'm going to go talk to her. It just comes out. You don't get overwhelmed. But if a lot of guys wait to say, oh, I'm only going to talk to girls I really like and want to ask out. And so they haven't practiced their social skills. And so because they don't practice it and they don't talk to people, they don't really care one way or another if they have a conversation or not. That's doing that over and over because re- repetition is the mother of skill is what – cause you to get to the place and realize that small talk is a skill, whether it's with an old lady or a beautiful 25 or 35, you're 31 year old girl, (laughs) (laughs) but it's an art and you have to practice it. So if you're getting overwhelmed, that tells me that that person has not practiced making small talk with anybody, anybody that they encounter. You could be at the gas station and filling up your gas and just start asking somebody about their car. That's oh, true. Um, one question that really gets to me, and I feel like it gets a lot of people, this happened to me um, before yoga on Monday when I was just not feeling it, which actually boosted my mood more. I was really happy. I came in like, oh. But I went to Smoothie King before coming over, and I put on my Armani per- perfume, and I've never really got compliments on it. Like, I feel like no one ever smells it, and I put so much. Like, I drown myself so people can, like, be like, oh, what are you wearing? Never once got, like, anything. And I go to Smoothie King, and the guy was like, oh, what is that? Are you wearing perfume? And I was like, 
yes. I was like, you smell it? And he's like, yeah, that's really good. What is that? And I was like, Armani. And he was like, is that like expensive or something? And I'm like, I guess, kind of. And then the conversation ended. So bourgeoisie. Conversation ended and I walked over to whatever, the side. And then he comes over and he's like, um, do you know what so-and-so is? It was like a scientific word. And I was like, no, what is that? And he was like, oh, basically, do you know what insects are? And I was like, yeah. You will eat bugs. And he's like, insects attract each other by their their other smells. Animals. Yeah, their smells, their scents. And that's what you're giving off right now. And I was like, uh, what are you saying? He's like, you smell really good. And I was like, oh, thank you. And I, it just made my day. I was like, because no one has ever like. Come. He didn't ask for the number? No, he no. just, he, he was just like, um, yeah, you just smell really good. It was really a good opener, good. though. Yeah. Good well, conversation stuff. But I'm glad he didn't ask anything or pushed it because when guys do that, it's just like, ugh. It's very uncomfortable. You're shooting your shot a little too fast. But mm -hmm. just that little hint there, I was just like, that was so nice. We made my day. Good compliment. Yeah. So whenever you compliment a girl and she smells good, it's like, I feel like it'll make us feel good. We're like, yeah, he smells Absolutely. good. Absolutely. He noticed the smell. Or even telling a girl that she looks beautiful and just leaving it at that. Yeah. Yeah, Caroline tends to come in smelling like candy and fruity and she always smells good. I feel like some people probably get used to the smell, so it's like normal to them. But like, I don't know, whenever someone mentions it, I'm just like, yes, mm -hmm. I drown myself every day. <laughs> yeah, tell a girl she smells good. You got to mean it, though. Mm. Yeah, if she smells like crap, tell her, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Her, her breath is right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a question that I have is, what if a guy is putting himself in all of these situations, trying to work on himself, but he suffers with severe social anxiety? How is he going to get through that? Repetition is the mother of skill. I mean, everybody starts out as a novice. Mm -hmm. Everybody starts out as a beginner. And so if you suck at something, it means you got work to do. Like with yoga, I mean, I fucking suck at yoga. And I absolutely do not enjoy it one, not a second of it. Maybe Don't like lie. a half a second I enjoy. Like but I'm, I'm getting better at it. And I definitely, afterwards, it's just like working out. You feel better. I feel looser. I feel my joints are looser. And at the end of the day, me being a life coach, when I suck at something, I'm going to try to get better at it. And so every week I try to get a little better, even though my instructor is a pain in the ass. I think she's great. Not too forceful, but like very, what's it called? Um, she tries to break off my arms. Mo mo motivated. Motivational. Motivational, yeah. But still stern. Yeah.